Welcome to Koran at Siemit. I'm standing at the booth of my taxi right now. Could you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Riza and it's my pleasure to yeah. introduce our company My Taxi. Okay, um, maybe you can talk a little bit about My Taxi. What is My Taxi all about? Uh, my Taxi is really the idea of directly linking passengers and drivers uh, for a more efficient uh, way of catching a taxi ride. Okay. Um, what is the idea behind My Taxi? My Taxi is, well, maybe we have to go back a little and look at how it started. Um, my Taxi, well, the idea was really developed when the two founders, Nick and Sven, spent an evening out in Munich and afterwards couldn't find a taxi. Um, first of all, some of the taxis were busy and um, then they didn't know where they were. And thirdly, um, when they called the operator, they didn't really understand the guy because he was from Bavaria and that wasn't even China. So, um, so they thought we have to somehow change it. And even more so when the next day they got to the airport and saw car parks full of taxis like, which it could have put to great use somewhere else. And they, they thought we have to develop a platform that's, where we can bring together the passenger and the driver very efficiently and directly without any costly intermediaries. And that's how the idea developed. Yeah, it's very interesting. So do you use my taxi uh, for your private use as well? Of course. <laughs> of course. I, I personally think it's a great service and also if you speak to the um, taxi drivers, they say because the system is not anonymous, it's both you know the driver by name and the passenger by name. Its behavior is completely different. It's, uh, um, it's much better and then, and then the taxi drivers like the my taxi guests. So, in which uh, cities is my taxi available right now? Oh, we're working hard on getting uh, new and new cities. Um, in Germany, we are um, available in Hamburg, Berlin, Munich, Cologne, Frankfurt, Düsseldorf, um, Stuttgart, and, and when we are still growing, I mean, we have to cover up a whole lot more in Germany. Um, but we're also starting currently in Zurich, in Barcelona, in Vienna, and. Um, Obviously, internationalization is a big topic for us. Yeah, sure. So, when you're a growing business, uh, what's about the people behind? Um, how many people are working right now for my taxi? Oh, that's uh, changing not on a, on, a, on a daily, but on a monthly basis. Uh, right now, we have on an average four to six uh, new people starting each month. Oh. So, um, so that's great. We are currently at just over 60 employees and um, still looking. So, if anybody. Uh, is, uh, is willing to spend and uh, spend their time and, 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 and wants to shape the future of a young startup. He's willing to do so, or he or she. Okay. And where is you searching for people in every city, or do you have a head office somewhere? We have a head office in um, in, in Hamburg, uh -huh. um, but we're also looking for people in Barcelona, in Zurich, in Vienna, and other places where we're busy. So, but it really depends on your skill. If you're in, in, in IT development, then it's you're looking at our HQ in Hamburg. Okay, very nice. So, what are your expectations for Code N and the CBIT in specific for the next day? Well, we came here looking for a chance to present ourselves, and um, so far it's been really great because we have a chance to speak to different um, press companies, newspapers. We had great. Um, discussing discussion with people stopping by asking about my taxi app. so that's going to continue for the rest of the sea but we're going to be very happy okay yeah. thanks a lot for the interview and have a nice day thank you too and also a great thanks to the sponsors